well, well, I'll try to get this uh, before the light fades. As you can see, it's fading pretty quick. It's, um, and this time of year, sometimes, you know, after all the foliage has fallen down and, you know, it's right next to the bike path over here. I think I'm either, I'm on the Lexington, I might be in Lexington over the Arlington line, but, uh, and this is what I saw. I had never seen this, but it's hard to see. It's a circle of stones. Um, does a circle here. And uh, I don't know what it is. Don't know how old it is. Um, my guess is it had something to do with the creek down there back in the day when they did mill kind of work. Um, but I'm just to see if I can get up here on top of it. Maybe I can squeeze myself. Not easy. Get a better sense of it. Now I'm on top of it. It's hard to, I'll just do the circle right here. Right there. So, you know, about, uh, huh. at least a 10, 15 feet circumference circle of stones. I don't know what it could have been. I'm going to, uh, this is tough actually, go over here, the other side. Oop. Um, and this is the other side of the circle, stones. Jump down. Huh. There's actually a gap here, whether that was there purposely back in the day or the stone just came out of it. Who can say? Um, now there's another one right there. That I can't get to right now, but uh, I'll try later. Well, anyway, finding a stone circle in the uh, fading light here. There you go.